Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Plus, and in this episode of our season as Justin Allgaier and his number seven precision tank or precision build Chevrolet, we're going to Dover International Speedway for the Allied Steel Buildings 200. So it's got the gray logo, so I got the gray car. Last time we raced at Dover was quite a while ago, but we finished seventh, and we had top five speed at best, but freaking Chase Briscoe went and destroyed my ass. He obliterated me. Anyhow, last episode raced at Watkins Glen, our I think our third road course race of the season, and you know, got a top five over there. We had a crash that sent me to the back of the field, lost me a very important track position that I would never wind up getting back, unfortunately. But here are the standings after that one. Uh, we were 90 points ahead of Chase Briscoe, and then 91 points ahead of Harrison Burton. So pretty soon we could see Chase Briscoe fall out of second place. And that's all you need to know. Dover International Speedway. Definitely one of the toughest tracks in the NASCAR Heat Series. You know, all these cinematic shots and all that stuff. I can't call it Dover Motor Speedway because it's not called that yet. This is based off the 2020 season, and then they didn't start calling it that until after the 2021 season, which that's what's me whenever we get to the Cup Series. You know, we're going to do no practice. That is canceled. And my setup is already on a looser one because we've raced here before. My biggest weakness with this track has got to be just bouncing off that apron in Turn 1. I don't feel like I do it that much in turn three, but it happens here and there for that corner. That, that was kind of what led to me bringing out that caution with Chase Briscoe in the, the first Dover race. As I was trying to make a move, I drove onto the apron and got loose. But then he decided to crash into me instead of avoiding me. All right, 23-9, starting 11. I went really wide into turn three. That I could have been like a whole tenth faster, which that would have gained me one spot. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to catch Anthony Alfredo, who's in the top ten again. I mean, Harrison Burton is starting right behind Chase Briscoe. we got Brandon Jones on the pole. What is with this fucking game? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's possible. Harrison Burton gets this inside advantage, and then Chase Briscoe, he starts on the outside. Now I am tenth, so one of those guys in front of us got sent to the tail of the field. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, my God, they sent Harrison Burt to the back. He got an engine change. God. Well, so much for getting to second in the points. Like, that was the one thing we were anticipating at the end of the last video and going into this one, and now it's just another Dover race. So Chase Briscoe's going to get stage points in the first stages, and Harrison Burt's going to work his way to the field and then try to stop losing points. Fortunately, it's only a 29-car field, and Noah Gragson is not in here. Yeah, got to remind you of that. There's no Noah Gragson. I don't know why. He's in the game, but I don't know why. He, he's just not racing in this season that I've put together. I don't feel like I actually put it together. I just picked the driver and went to Xfinity Series. And for some reason, he's just not racing. That's one of my teammates, I need I remind you. He's supposed to be a, a better performing driver. Gets the best equipment and shit at uh, JRM. I feel like he's uh, outdone. Daniel Hemrick, as far as winning races, and then definitely outdoes Michael Annette. But we just never know how Noah Gragson would do if he was running in this season, how his AI's program, what kind of rating they gave him. If you look at freaking Michael Annette, this guy runs top five every race. Daniel Hemrick is kind of like a top ten driver, I guess. And then me, I'm the one that's putting Justin Allgaier on the map. Makes me kind of feel bad. I thought about racing as Noah Gragson for a while. And then I was like, no, let's go with Justin Allgaier. Kamikaze likes Justin Allgaier. I like Justin Allgaier more than Noah Gragson. So I pick Allgaier and then Noah Gragson doesn't show up. Uh, yes, Dover does have this black apron of sorts. Um, I don't know when they actually added that, but I noticed it a while back whenever we started racing there in the truck series. Gosh, I'm trying to hang on to these leaders, this top five. I'm just tight. 
I'm loose in and tight through the center and off. This is one of them default setups. You can see their, their little name tags right there. Oh, okay, we got a great runoff of turn two this time. We're going to hang on to them. It's a 10 lap first stage. There we go. Just got to get that entry right. I can roll the center and off just perfectly as long as I get that entry smooth. You get loose and then it just throws you up the track. Ugh. That is how you do it. I can lead this race. Jeffrey Earnhardt has taken the lead. Ugh. I can't say it's the weirdest stuff we've ever seen. I don't know what the hell's going to happen in Cup. Who's going to be doing this shit in Cup? Hopefully nobody. And you see all these other NASCAR games. You have just random drivers in the lower series, like those EA Sports ones. John Wood just won a championship in What If Racing's career mode on NASCAR 08. I hate John Wood because of how annoying he was in 08 and 09. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. That in NASCAR 08, he can win a championship. And in NASCAR 09, he can do the same thing and be competitive. Like, they never bothered fixing it. Ah, uh, damn it, just now, guy. I'm just now, guy. What? Mike Lynette. Close enough. I went in for a pass, and he was like, no, you're not doing that. Cut me off. Well, I'm hanging with them, so I might be able to make up a few more spots, but I need that space to pass. I need that room. And he is protecting the bottom obsessively right now. Oh, we're going to get that great run. I need to get a runoff of turn two of some kind. And I don't. Okay, I'm going in. And he continues to protect the bottom lane. Fuck off, dude! Shitty fucking teammate. And that basically ruined my entire corner, was not being able to make that pass. Try again. Well, he's going in for a pass on Austin Sendrick, since he just left the bottom open for no reason. I will follow you. Hold him up for me. Hold him up for me. I want to follow you. Ugh, tight into three, and I couldn't do anything. Why are we still getting tight? Michael Annette, fuck you, asshole. Let's see if I can survive stage two this time. I couldn't do that last time we raced here. Yeah, 1.5 cans of fuel. So we're gonna restart from sixth outside again. We always have great restarts, so we're gonna clear Austin Cindric. Uh, come on. Oh, I thought we would. Not get nearly the launch I'm used to get. Okay, we're clear. I just gotta slow down. I'm trying to keep it off the apron. We're not going fast enough. I like to just turn all the way because you can't be flicking the stick at a track like Dover. I really don't want to pass Chase Briscoe, but like they're leaving holes. They're three wide for the lead. God damn. I love this game. All these cars stacked up behind me. I have to keep on backing out and saving my stuff and try not to run into them or put myself in a spot where they wreck or I get wrecked because I touched them. I also don't want to hit the apron and if you don't line up the entry right, you wind up hitting the apron and just fucking up the entire pace of the lap. Someone gets their nose underneath you because you bounced off the apron you wind up being passed by three or four cars and it's, it's awful. I need to gap those guys behind us. Go up a little bit. Trying to arc it back down. It don't want to. We got fresh tires, but we're all kind of getting fair tire wear at Dover, which I like. At one point, it wasn't like that in the Heat games. With every single track you go to, you get tire wear, and they would get hardly anything. But it's a lot more balanced now, especially a track like this one. Ugh. Just too tight on the front end. And the rear end is sliding all over the damn place. And I can't pass Chase Briscoe. He's too fast. I can sit right up here behind him, but I cannot pass him. But this is where we were supposed to be a while ago. Stupid Michael Nett wasn't getting in the way. The chase is just going up the track. It feels weird just calling him Chase because then it sounds like Chase Elliott. I can't clear him. Damn it. You know, I was just thinking about this fact. I'd probably be able to see him better off the corner if I was using the far chase cam. Whoa! Daring move, but we made the pass. Even got him to check up doing something like that. But I just never got comfortable with the far chase cam, so I just don't use it. 
I could be fine doing it at like a super speedway because it's not really that difficult to drive. Ow. I'm trying to stop steering in the corner. Instead, I just wander into the wall. Uh, I'm not sure if that Switch NASCAR game is going to be on like September, October again. It should be September because like there's not much for them to do aside from reskin some stuff. I might be able to get second. We got two laps to go in the stage. I've got damage repair, I know it. Ugh. And I bounce off the apron. The leaders are, are fast here. It's a tough track. Jeremy Clements is checked out. He's gonna go back to back. Yeah, by the way, he uh he won Watkins Glen. Ah! Tight! Either the damage or the tire wear. Yeah, we are definitely not getting to Jeffrey Earnhardt. We can see lap traffic over there. Some blue car. All the way at the back of the field. Harrison Burton finished that stage in sixth. I just scrolled all the way down the list and, and didn't even realize he was in the top ten already. But he's still losing points to Chase Briscoe nonetheless. Uh, I actually don't have damage. You saw how hard I popped that wall. Well, Blammer didn't even get any damage. You're kidding me. That's always damage in this game. Okay, so... We get 1.5 cans of fuel, fill it up. I would love if this race just went green all the way to the end. And I can either gain positions, lose positions, or just maintain my ground after green flag stops. But uh, I'm expecting a caution of some kind. We're having that great restart. I'm going to take advantage of it, and I'm going to charge for the lead. Well, there goes Jeremy Clements' race. Yeah, he was going to dominate his way to the end, go back to back, and then I did that, and threw off his momentum, making him check up. Okay. I'm going to keep this as long as I can. Which is probably not very long. Oh, oh, oh. it was not very long. I, I deserve that for doing that to him at the restart. Uh, at least I led a lap, I guess, right? Yeah, like I said, someone gets their nose underneath you, and then they all just start passing you. I mean, this is kind of right where I was running before that stage. And I mean, Chase Briscoe just had a great charge. I'm trying to work my way back around. Jeffrey Earnhardt. Go to the outside again. He is not going to the outside again. If he was, I'd be passing him and clearing him. Said he's got his rear all up in my face. So, upsets my corner. I should be able to pass Chase Briscoe, though. I'm going to work on that. Oh, here we come. He's just got to run that top line one more time. And he doesn't. <laughs> Why you got to tease me like this game? I can still do it. I, I can still do it. I know I can. Run the top line again. There he goes. He's either runs the top or runs the bottom. And we're going to clear him. Fuck you, game! Fuck you. you! You did the caution, and you threw that caution, and you couldn't just wait until I got my nose ahead of him so I could be third? Well, everyone's gonna pit. Will this take us to the end of the race? I'm gonna get the four tires. And... I, I guess one can will fill it up? Yeah, this should take us to the end of the race. And of course, I'm gonna get four tires, because I don't want to try going to all the way, like, 18 laps. Whenever they're already got all these right sides burned off. Left sides would probably do it. We're going to probably lose some spots because they're not going to get tires. Yeah. But it's only 14 spots. We're, we're 18th. This is the furthest back we've been on race, though. I think Jeremy Clements is definitely going to win this race. It would take him blowing up for him to, to not win this. Like, no one has his speed. Once he got the lead, he was gone. They stayed in the pack whenever someone else was leading the race. Now that he's there... <laughs> He just takes off and he is gone. Ugh. Bounce off the apron trying to weave underneath David Starr or whoever over there. What a burger car. I'm just gotta work my way methodically through this field of traffic. I get myself wrecked or damaged. I bounce off the apron and just try to stick my nose somewhere. Granted, it might belong there because I shouldn't be back here, but I don't want to get myself wrecked being impatient. Jeremy Clements, I'm looking at you over there. 
You got the fastest damn car on the track, and you'll be running the outside line. He's fucking AI. It's fun, though. It, it is a fun way to design them. Run inside and outside. It's making them more competitive. Why would you try that whenever what you were already doing was working so well? Okay. And just like that, we're back into the top 10. The furthest back we've been on race is actually 10th, where we started. We were supposed to be 11th, but the freaking Harrison Burton got screwed. Um, I think in the end he is going to lose some points. Chase Briscoe. He might be able to finish in front of him. Harrison Burton is that white car on the top. And Chase Briscoe is also on the top. So, yeah, he could make a move soon. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to gain or lose points myself on Chase Briscoe. Because, I mean... He probably got more stage points the first stage, and I got more in the second one for sure. And now I'm trying to track him down. Despite having the freshest tires on the track and the fastest car with those fresh tires, I'm taking forever to get back to the top five. It's been a good, normal green flag race. As long as I have that one scripted yellow to take us away from having green flag stops. And we're back up to seventh. I have to put up with Justin Haley some more. Like, I haven't already done that in, like, four of the past five races. How many laps we got to go? It's less than ten. I have, like, eight laps to go next time, but... That's deja vu. I didn't destroy the car. I didn't damage it. We just scraped up the rear end a little bit. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I went into that corner all sideways. It, just, it keeps kicking out. You've seen it happen all race long. It just kicks out. So now we get to restart from 7th, and we still have the freshest tires on the track with, with this fast car. You know, there's Daniel Hemrick. I was talking about him a while ago. And I would say that we flat-spotted our tires by spinning it like that, and just whimsical spin. But no, there's no flat-spotting the, the tires in the NASCAR heat game. Maybe wear them down a little bit more, but still way fresher than everybody else's. So, I'm still 7th. But they're all right in front of me. I just know Jeremy Clements is going to drive away from all of us. This gives everybody else a second chance. Total deja vu right there. The exact same thing. I wasn't even trying to pass somebody. That was just me taking the corner. I always come from the top and throw it in and set up don't like that. Okay, so this definitely put me back where I belonged before that caution. But it took my own self-spin into three again to do so and there you have it jeremy clements is driving away with this one we got three laps to go oh there's someone sticking their nose underneath me you you stop that i know i'm faster than chase briscoe i've worked my way up to him and passed him uh three times already last time they didn't let me pass him though stupid video game harrison burton he's looking to get more points Mm. You might want to hold up Chase Briscoe so that I can pass him. And then I'll let you, you know, gain more than just one point on him right here. I figure that's what he wants. Just set up the corners really good. I can do this. Jeremy Clements is running the outside again. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> Give Harrison Burton the win. Uh, damn it, dude. Well, that shove probably took away any chance of me actually getting third. Yes, it definitely did. It fucked up my corner because he didn't go to the outside. Go to the outside. He doesn't go to the... Well, I go to the outside. I don't know what I was trying to do, but that wasn't going to work. Yeah, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I knew the moment that I, I gave him that shove that we were not going to get third. Now, we had quite a gap on Hemrick, Sendrick, and Jeffrey Earnhardt, who's been falling back ever since starting up front. Damn, what a shot. Oh, that I that's like, you know, the, the freaking shape of this. I, I always do that. I've done that for like five years now. That, that's, that's a good shot. Look at this. Doink, J just barely scraped it. Yeah, not affect the car. I did not damage the car once in this race. I swear I did in stage two or whatever. But the game was like, no, you didn't. You're fine. I slapped it so hard. Uh, yeah, Harrison Burton, he works his way all the way back up there. For all we know, he could have won this race. But, no, Jeremy Clements back-to-back -back with a stage win. And Jeffrey Earnhardt got a stage win. I didn't even notice. Ooh, 
Ran Jones started on the pole, finished eighth. Do, 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 do. And yeah, there's all the race results without Noah Gragson because what a, what a game. Stupid motorsport games, man, I swear. It's fun to play, but like, it is just Heat 4 in the end. And that is a, a loss in points, I believe, on Chase Briscoe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an 87-point lead for us now on Chase Briscoe. But I don't think there's a reason to keep up with it anymore, at least for us. We've got this championship one. Like, there's no way he would gain 87 points on us in three races. Mathematically, I don't know if that's exactly even possible because it's just such a smaller field than it should be. But Richmond is only a real threat. It's always been a tough track. Uh, Darlington, we don't have any experience racing there on this game, but I definitely can do it. And Daytona Super Speedway, I can get an easy top 10 or top 5 there. But uh, yeah, see you tomorrow for the Coca-Cola 250 at Daytona. That's that and episode over.